So here we are at Vancouver 2013, guys. There's more to this than just a LAN event. There's a whole bunch of cool technology on display, and we're gonna take you around a little tour of the inside. The first thing you see on the inside is the registration desk, followed by one of the creepiest things, I think, here at the event, and that is this mannequin. Like, what the heck is that? Apparently, she loves NCIX. She has an Intel hat. She's like bound with lanyards, which I mean, Lord only knows what the plan was there, but uh, okay, maybe we'll focus on the technology. Of course, ASUS has a huge presence here. So this is their new 4K display. It's running off of a single display port connector. They've got Ultra HD video running on it right now as we speak. These are available for pre-order right now, but you can't actually get one or even look at one unless you're at an event where they have them on display. They also have some things that are actually available over here. So they've got their 3D vision monitors. They are available in up to 144 hertz configuration. So basically that amounts to quicker response times so that there's no lag when you actually input the actions you want compared to a more traditional 60 hertz display. And then over here, this one right here is also not available. So this is their new 21 by 9 Designo series monitor. So that runs at a staggering 2560 by 1080 resolution. It is about equivalent to two 17 inch monitors side by side. And then last but not least, we've just got more awesome ROG swag over here, including their latest G750 gaming notebook. So this one right here is running a 4700 HQ processor with a GTX 700 series graphics card, and it sports a pretty fresh look. So there's a full metal finish on the top compared to the previous G75, which had a plastic top. So here we see that traditional soft touch on the top, but on the inside it has has a very, very premium feel. Inwin's got a few things on display at the show, including some cases, power supplies, as well as mobile accessories, but nothing stands out quite as much as this guy. So this is the D-Frame, which is a limited edition case available in a couple of different colors. Each of them is individually numbered. It is constructed fully of aluminum with the exception of a couple of small accent pieces, such as these protective bits right here that allow you to you know, put it down without scratching the paint finish. It is pretty expensive, guys, at about $300, but if you were looking for a unique look for your LAN rig, I think that's about as unique as it gets. We've also got in-win accessories on display, so this right here might look like a wrench, but actually it's got little rubber pieces in here and you use it as an iPhone stand. So I think we uh, already saw this one time. Next up, we've got their aluminum with chrome accented mouse pad. So it's got an anodized finish for reducing the scratchability of the surface itself. I've only seen a couple of commercial aluminum mouse pads, such as the SteelSeries SX, which is no longer in production. And uh, Silverstone actually ships one with their TJ11 case. But other than that, they're very rare and hard to come by. Last but not least, we have their tablet stand. So it has an, a solid aluminum, or rather, or are these plastic? Are these aluminum or plastic? Uh -oh. Feels like metal. metal. Yeah, there you go. So we've got a solid aluminum stand here that can go at one of two angles. So you can put it this way or this way, and you've got rubber pieces on the bottom so that can adjust the angle, and that pretty much prevents it from being scratched. Guys, if you've never heard of Murder Box or Murder Mod or Charles, who is basically the friggin' guy who friggin' does stuff that is friggin' amazing, this is the MK2. So this chassis is a heavily, heavily modified Silverstone TJ07. So hopefully he doesn't show up because he's much bigger than me, but I'm about to tip it over so that you can get a bit of a better look. Whoop, hold on, at the top here. There you go. Shroudless fans. So the top has been completely redesigned. That gold plated water block that you can see in there was custom plated by Eddie from EK Water Blocks, as well as the CPU water block. So check this out, guys. CPU water block is also gold plated in there. They've got gold Corsair Vengeance RAM, gold fittings across the board, as well as ASUS's new Z87 Deluxe motherboard. So if you were wondering, what does that gold color scheme go with? The answer is this particular rig right here because it looks freaking amazing. Even the fans on the bottom are custom painted. The front of the chassis, I don't know if you've seen this, but it has been completely stealthed. 
All the five and a quarter inch bays are gone because there is a slot loaded optical right there in the top and all of the hard drives are now mounted internally, hard drives and SSDs, behind this stealth custom lit front panel. Absolutely beautiful. And here, my friends, is the You Dream It, We Build It Ultimate Plexter sponsored NCIX PC. There is an Extreme Edition 6 core in there, liquid cooled, overclocked. There are two GTX Titans a little bit further down here, also liquid cooled and overclocked. And check this out two Plexter SSDs running in RAID 0 for pretty much as fast as it gets storage performance. Not only that, but there is a custom four layer vinyl graphic on the side that has has these horses that represent Plex Store as well as the NCIX logo. So right now this is running a pretty cool little gaming station where people can just come check it out and play some games. All right, guys, we're here in the VIP zone. So basically, these are the folks who got, like, you know, extra swag with their ticket as well as more, like, private seating and curtains and all kinds of high-end stuff like that. So we've got a couple of rigs we want to show off in here. This is a custom liquid-cooled affair. You want to tell us about this machine? Uh, it's Cooler Master Case with uh, LGA or LGA 2011 socket with the 3930K, overclocked at 4.7. Uh, it's got uh, 78, two 7870s, a little bit older, but they still run strong when I'm overclocking them, so get a... All right, nice rig, man. So it's all a black and red color scheme. Looks fantastic. I, I'm digging that 3 8 inch tubing. That's my personal favorite tubing size, so good work on that. Good tubing, yep. Yeah. All right, now I want to move on to sort of a less modern. It's funny, he was burning himself on his 7870s, but I actually haven't yet seen the, uh, the lady or gentleman to whom this belongs. But I have only in person seen a Coolance modified Lee and Lee once. And this is it. I've never actually found another one that somebody, that somebody bought. And there are quite a few unique things about this rig, which I'm going to try not to break here or anything like that. So custom water cooling, probably considering the, the awesomeness of this rig overall, the worst cable management that I've ever seen on a rig that is otherwise like, like look at this. He's got like, you know, bent fittings in there. Like the water cooling is actually very well done, but look at this SATA cable. That's awesome. It's got a RAID card in there somewhere. I don't even know what it's hooked up to, but I saw it from the backside, as well as like one of the most elaborate anti-theft devices that I've ever seen on a computer. So right there he has an alarm rigged up with a zip tie to his side panel. So that, ah, yes, Jonathan, so his, for sure, so, so that if anyone takes it off, it'll actually trigger and sound an alarm. Now, we're going to cut around to the other side. Give us a second. So last but not least, uh, so that RAID card right there is powering apparently about 20 hard drives in the bottom. And this Panaflow fan right here actually uses two full sets of blades in order to achieve ultimate static pressure. So it's a very, very unique machine. Here we've got the main stage, so here people can spectate and watch on the ginormous projector screen. Remember guys, that was sponsored by BenQ for this event. And right now there's a League of Legends match up there that there are a few people watching. But check out over this way where we can see the behind the scenes action. We're going to have to move pretty quick here. Back here behind the Wizard of Oz curtain. We've got the casting area, so I'm going to try not to disturb Cold SC right here, but uh, he's actually a uh, close relative of the one and only Slicks, so he's here doing some casting for StarCraft 2, and I'm hopefully not distracting him here, but let's, uh, this gives you guys some idea when it comes to eSports, what goes on behind the scenes in order to bring you guys the coverage that you enjoy so much. So thank you for checking out our preview of Vancouver 2013, our show overview. Guys, I hope that you were able to make it, and if not, maybe I'll see you again next year.